would do. In fact, we're talking the key players in the Napa Funny Car out of Don Schumacher Racing with their headquarters just about a mile and a half down the road. Ron Caps, Ron Tobler. We're going to start with Ron Caps, who is without question one of the most popular drivers in the sport, has been for years, been here since 95, but has never won a U.S. Nationals. I hate to do this to you, buddy. Added to that, four times he's been a runner-up in the championship. And twice, you started the countdown number one in the points and didn't win that either. Why did I come over here? I don't know, but does that ever get to you? I'll tell you what gets to me. I'm going to make a big announcement right now. Okay, you're done. Selzy is coming back on a pro stock motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> now, everybody at home, first of all, picture Selzy in leathers up there on a Harley. Ooh, Just for no, a second. Wow. He's going to be our teammate. That's a big announcement. Don Schumacher's coming out with another bike. Now, Ron, Harry Selzy. Ron, it would start out as a small fire and turn into a very big fire. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're also talking, with all due respect to Selzy, quite a bit of overhang on either side. Hi, but Oh, I did not go there. Ron Zolper, will that help the arrow? Uh, you know, they'd be able to take some weight off the bike. <laughs> yeah, so. I didn't know this was going to be a beat-up Selzy session, but that's good. No, looking at it seriously, though, it, you're a pro. Does that stuff ever really bother you? Or you, you got to be looking at the portfolio. You're getting to the end of the career. I mean, you're within, you know, 20 years. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it doesn't even bother me. I've... Um, I get to drive a car prepared by Ron Tober and his guys, and my guys as well. But it's, uh, Selzy can tell you, you're, you're as good as the car you're in. I mean, mm -hmm. we go dirt racing, we do other stuff, and in and, and a cup, you look, there's a, a, a driver that can take a 10th place car and take it to 5th place in another series like that. In drag racing, we're as good as our car is. John Forrest, 15-time champ, if he was in an 11th place car, he'd be 11 time, 11th place every year. So. I, I don't even, if I don't win a championship, I don't think I'll be defined as that. I, I've had such a great career, and I get to strap into the car driven uh, and drive it. Uh, Tober is such a good crew chief. He gives me a lot of confidence, and, uh, and I'm, always, I'm always confident. This had a run go down the track. Let's check in on that. 698 for Matt Smith alongside with his wife, Angie, who goes 704. Angie on the bump as Matt Smith makes a three-position improvement to the number six spot. Hey, we're, we're an equal opportunity offender here. Everybody's game, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's do some of the good stuff. Take it back to 99, the Skull Shootout. That was a great moment for you. We even have the video for you. The fire? Is this the fire or no? Well, we That's burned a car up, and then I snuck out of the infield uh, care center there. That, when it, see, I have won at India. I've won on Sunday. I <laughs> just never won on Monday, Tobler. <laughs> um, yeah, that was fun times. But, you know, um, Indy, Seeing the Snake and Mongoose movie uh -huh. this week really brought back to me, and to Tober saw it as well at the premiere, it really brought back what Indy was. And it reminded me of how big this race is. And when you're asked, would you rather win a championship or an Indianapolis race, you have to think about it for a second. Right. That's how big this race is. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to be here. I think I've, I've got the best chance at winning I've ever had. Uh, the competition's as tough as it's ever been. But I love working with Tobler, and I love driving his race car. And, and I think uh, we, can, we can hopefully get uh, $100,000 in the pocket today. Let's go back on the drag strip for just a minute. Yeah, the big question is, is, did Ron Tobler recognize Ron Caps as Lou Bainey in that movie? We'll find out about that in a moment. As Michael Ray and Karen Stouffer come to the starting line, it's Karen's second appearance this year. Looking for that full-time funding. And it's a 698 for Michael Ray, who improves 10 positions up to the number five spot. Karen, just a couple of positions outside of the qualified field. There's Lou Bainey. <laughs> How did I not get that part? <laughs> I just, I guess you should wear glasses. You, <laughs> you had the physique with, for it. I know it. You know, with all due respect, I think he looks more like Danny DeVito there. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's, let's talk a minute about that snake and mongoose movie, which we saw here with a local premiere this week. You were there. You were doing the red carpet thing and all that. But I got to tell you, I saw McEwen. I saw Prudhomme in the film. I never saw you. A lot a lot of people say that. I, that means I did my job as an actor, isn't a it? A great actor. I fit right in. Nobody even knew it was me. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to do. So, Ron Toller, let's go to you for a minute, because whenever I ask Ron what's going on with the car, he says, I don't know. Ask Ron. He's the only one that knows. He doesn't care. Uh, you have had victories here, victories as championships. How important, though, is this one race? Oh, you know, it's it's definitely a big race. I think I came here the first time in maybe 72, 73. So, 
you know, it has a lot of history. Um, it was fortunate to win it in 1982, won the uh, last school showdown with, with uh, Cruz in, in 08. So we left here with the big money on a Sunday before as well. So, uh, you know, the race within a race format presents some different challenges today. We're racing more than we are qualifying. Uh, hopefully we cemented our qualifying position last night. And today it's all about the Benjamins. Okay, Ron, uh, the stat guy, Lewis Bloom, has a question for you, too. It's actually for Ron Katz. You know, Ron, I always like to bust on you with the stats, but how about this one? Since 2005, you and Robert Hyde are now tied with the most funny car wins at 27. There you go. It's a positive Ron Katz. Yeah, that's, that's, in, right. that's in good company. Jimmy Prock, obviously, he gave him a good hot rod to, to ride all those years. So, um, in fact, Prock was over hanging out with us last night, listening to Snoop Dogg. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, that's that's good company to be in, no doubt about it. Well, when you go back into the pit area and check out all the cars, let me assure you, the Napa Funny Car has one of the bigger crowds. They're all hanging out. They want to see the smiling Californian and, of course, Ron Tobler. Thanks for being with us, guy. Thank you, guy. Jimmy Proc kicking it with a little Snoop Dogg. <laughs> that's something I wouldn't have picked.